KFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging right near in record territory. S&P's up six points, trading at 3201. Dow Jones up 93, trading at 28,333. NASDAQ up 41 points, trading at 8868. Gold contract catching a little bit of a bid, up $5.40 at 1484. Notes and bonds, we're getting a little bit of a higher price and lower yield pullback. The 10-year up seven ticks, 128.12. The 30-year up 12 ticks at 156.13. And the dollar index off 55 ticks at 97.346. We'll start things off with the 1 p.m. update. We're going to start it with a chart of the 10-year yield. Quite a print we got today, 1.95 we got up to. But talk about short-lived. We're now under 1.9 at 1.89% as the volatility continues in that note and bond market. Jumping over to the indices, we'll start things off with the Dow. Currently trading 28,348. We almost got up to 28,400. We missed it by just less than eight points in the futures. We meet, excuse me, 28,392, the high, about 50 points off that level. NASDAQ 100, 86.50. Less than 10 points off its high. S&P's reached 3,208. Quite a number. Record territory, as I mentioned. Currently trading 3,205. Gold contract catching a bid as well with the markets. Pretty interesting. At one point, you had gold trading inversely with the markets. Right now, gold trading higher at 1,484. Crude oil, $61.09. And how about natural gas? We got the EIA numbers at 1030 this morning. We saw a draw of 107 billion cubic feet. The estimate was for a draw of about 95 billion cubic feet. The price spikes to 230, but no matter what happens in that natural gas market, can't catch a bid 226 in the price of January natural gas. In terms of what else you have happening fundamentally in the market, weekly jobless claims out this morning at 830. That number coming in at 234,000 for the week ended December 14th, pulling back from the two-year high, but still a bit more than the 225,000 economists had been expecting. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up with the Trader's Edge, live from 1 till 2. Dave White, live with a power trading hour at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien, live at 3. Record territory. S&P's positive by 6. Dow Jones, positive by 88 points. We'll be right back.